welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to you and welcome to our guests. We are of course Joe Kelleher and Alan Reed. Um, there were some other people who reserved, but it's Saturday afternoon, so I guess it's sunny. They decided to find the place. The idea of this invitation is, or has something to do with the fact that also this group of people that is now in the room, we are all scattered all around the city trying to organize our own performances, events like this, um, trying to uh, raise the money to make it possible that these things happen. And we have very little time to actually meet and talk. <coughs> Uh, most of the talks that are happening at the moment in Amsterdam and in the whole Netherlands are concerning the budget cuts. And uh, somehow, in my opinion, everything that we do in those talks is reproduction of anxiety and the fear that is already planted by the idea of losing subsidy. And then I thought, how can we open up the space um, in which we are not talking about something else, but the space where we work on the things that we should be working on all the time, but we don't have time for it. <laughs> um, and that is why these three people are invited, also because they are not from Amsterdam and they are not from the Netherlands, they are coming from different um, contexts. So for sure we are sharing similar concerns, but it's nice that we can process our own uh, um, worries and concerns at the moment by being on the track uh, that somebody else proposes, which is not necessarily the track that we are now uh, on. Uh, shortly about the, the, how the day looks like. Uh, first, we will have now a bit less than three hours um, being together in this setup. We will have one break after an hour and ten minutes, and then we will come back, go on, and then at seven o'clock there is a dinner. Um, I hope you reserved the meal. Uh, and then at 8.30, uh, Alma and Yolika, who will premiere in Something Wrong next month with their new piece. It's funny to say with their new piece, this is actually their first piece after they finished the school. So, uh, and they will show bits and pieces, and then they will be very happy to hear from you. We are not making official after talk. Uh, after they finish, we will play here some music, and hopefully you will stay here with us, talk to Alma and Yolika, but also talk to Boyana, Joe, and Alan, and talk among each other. It's not um, obligatory. <laughs> you can also just chill out and drink. Um, <laughs> Well, shall I do this proper thing to, to read your short bio? You're doing fine so far. I think. <laughs> <laughs> do you need that I read a bit who they are, or you all more or less know? Shall I, I read? Yes. yes. <laughs> Boyana Kunst is a philosopher, dramaturg, and performance creation. She works as a visiting professor at the University of Hamburg at the Performance Studies. And she teaches also at the University of Primorska. She is also an artistic collaborator of many artists. She is a member of editorial boards of the journals Maska, Amphitheater, and Performance Research. Her essays have appeared in numerous journals and publications, and she has taught and lectured extensively in Europe. Jo Kevenhead is professor of theater and performance. He is head of subject of drama, theater, and performance at Rockhampton University in London. His research interests are in contemporary theater and performance, with a key interest in the forms of critical practice that might speak to particular performance rhetorics. A central theme of his work has been a concern with structures of theatrical persuasion, both within and beyond professional theater. His focus over the last few years has largely been on European performance with a special attachment to the work being produced over the last decade in Northern Italy. And Ellen Reed is a professor of theater at King's College University of London. He is author of Theater and Everyday Life and Ethics of Performance, The Fact of Blackness, 
Franz Fanon and visual representation, architecturally speaking, practices of art, architecture, and everyday. He's also editor of two issues of journal Performance Research on Animals and on Civility. And he is currently developing the 1829 Anatomy Theatre and Museum at King's College London on the Strand as an interdisciplinary research centre exploring performance inherent to law, medicine, warfare and physics. And Alma and Jolika, um, uh, Jolika Suderman finished MIME school last year in 2010, and Alma Soderberg finished SNDO uh, last year as well here in, in Amsterdam. And they met each other through making a short piece, Freedom of Speech, which toured all around the Europe, and there was a demand that they make a full feature performance, and that <laughs> performance we are producing right now, and that will premiere in February. And now I <laughs> you guys with us, Brian. No, please. Jesus. I'm here. <laughs> no, no. You, oh, yeah, no, come here. <laughs> Otherwise, there's space. Yeah. Oh, somebody else. Yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start on time. <clears throat> I promised I would start, so I'm going to start. Um, Thanks, Joe. <clears throat> okay. While Boyana zips backwards and forwards. Is that sound the sound of the wind blowing yes. through the hefe? Absolutely. Fantastic, I love it. The spirit. I'll start by saying um, thanks to Boyana for um, inviting us, inviting me here. It's great to be in Amsterdam, and there's a lot of friends um, in the room, in the audience, on that side and on this side as well. But also, specific thanks actually for this occasion, which speaks to something that you said um, earlier, which is an opportunity to think out loud about um, projects that one is doing right now. And that's what I'm going to try and do. And um, for a long time, um, Alan will know how long, um, I've been talking about a book I've been promising to write, um, which I haven't had any time to work on whatsoever. And um, every time there's an occasion maybe to talk to a publisher or to talk to a friend or, or a collaborator, I find myself reformulating again what it is about. And I thought I'd wait until the last moment, and that was something like last night and the flight this morning, to do that again and make some notes towards this event. And I'm going to um, offer these notes now. And uh, there'll be a couple of examples. I'll, I'll talk about a couple of, of things, events, performances, occasions, and a couple of thoughts coming out of that. But um, these weren't the thoughts I had last week. They were the ones that appeared to me again this morning as I tried to think through what this is. But it's very much in this space of concentration of how do we ever really make the time to do the projects we want to do? And what are those processes of, of conceiving them, of recognizing what your own thought is about? So that's where I'm coming from. So I'll tell you about this project, and maybe I'll talk for 15 minutes or so. Sometimes I go on a bit once I start, but um, I should do this. And um, um, a very good friend of mine is over there, um, Snezhanka, was saying to me um, just um, earlier, saying, Joe, you're fine, this book is, is in your head. It's, it's all there. <laughs> yes, but I don't trust my own head, so I put something on paper. <laughs> this project um, I've been working on um, is a book. It's um, a words-based project. And in some ways, I think of it as a sort of um, theatre festival of the mind. Um, it's um, a book in which I will write about performances that I still remember. And that is to say, I um, write about performances that I find myself going back to. And the thing that, this is going to be a theme here of, of a returning to things, a trying to remember things that have happened for me before. A certain sort of, um, the fancy word for this is anamnesis, a sort of deliberate remembering. But, but remembering as, as an actual, as an act, even as potentially as a political act. Where, in this book, with words, I, I talk about what I have seen and heard. I'm interested about this relationship, really around what I call um, images. Uh, not just visual images, they could be oral images, they could be images of other, other forms. But how um, an experience of encountering an image 